nitrogen cycle. Yo, man, uh, what are you doing? Breathing. Well, do you even know what you're breathing? Uh, I think it's air, isn't it? <laughs> nah, dude. 79% nitrogen. Seriously? Yeah, dude. Air is the largest reservoir of nitrogen on Earth. Okay. Yeah, but do you even know why that's important? Well, I know plants need nitrogen. No, it's not just plants, man. All life requires nitrogen compounds. For example, proteins, nucleic acids, etc. If we don't have nitrogen, we don't have life. Wow, so... So, what's the big deal? Why can't the plants just take nitrogen right out of the air? Dude... I don't... I don't... You're missing something here, because... They gotta go through this... This pretty complicated system. It's called the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen cycle. Andrew. What's up, man? Uh, you know much. Uh, so I hear you don't know much about the nitrogen cycle. Well, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, I think after you learn what it's really all about, you really come to appreciate it. Yeah? Yeah. Remember, don't be a fool. Nitrogen is cool. Dude, I don't know if I can handle this, like, all right now. Dude, just chill. It's not that complicated. Well... Uh, fine. Alright, well, listen, why don't you just tell me what you already know? Well, I know there's a lot of nitrogen in, like, the air and stuff. Yeah, that's right, man. The troposphere contains 78% nitrogen. Alright, so how does it get used by plants and stuff? Yeah, dude, well, that's where the nitrogen cycle comes in. Repeat after me. Nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation. Nice, man. Nitrogen fixation is how nitrogen is taken from the atmosphere and converted into either ammonia or nitrates. Wow. So how does it work? Well, there are three ways in which nitrogen, N2, is fixed. All three of these ways require lots of energy. The first and most common method is called biological fixation. In this method, nitrogen fixing bacteria take the nitrogen from the atmosphere and soil and convert it into ammonia. This requires a huge amount of ATP and lots of enzymes. Wow, so you're saying bacteria actually are important? Yeah, man. Bacteria make the nitrogen cycle. Anyway, the second method is called industrial fixation, where factories will use extreme temperatures and pressure to make nitrogen into ammonia, which is often used directly as a fertilizer. So you see, we humans are a part of the nitrogen cycle. Wow. The third and final method of nitrogen fixation is called atmospheric fixation. When lightning strikes, whether you think it is from Zeus or scientific reasons, the nitrogen combines with oxygen, forming nitrogen oxides, which then combine with raindrops to form nitrates, which fall directly to the earth. No ammonia is needed. Yeah. All right, so let me get this straight. There's three kinds of nitrogen fixation. There's atmospheric, which makes nitrates, and then there's industrial and biological, which makes ammonia. But what happens to the ammonia from biological and uh, and industrial nitrogen fixation. Good question, man. You're right. Ammonia cannot be used directly as a nutrient by most plants, as it is poisonous to them. So, the ammonia needs to go under some process to turn into something else. The ammonia goes through a process called nitrification, where it is turned into our friend, 
the nitrates, which can then be directly absorbed by plants. These are crucial components to plants, making up parts of proteins and nucleic acids. So, remember, the ammonia goes through nitrification that turns into nitrates, which are then used by the plants. So bacteria are responsible for nitrification? You bet, baby. Yeah. Alright, so let's just recap what we've gone over today, alright? Uh, the nitrogen in the air has to undergo nitrogen fixation, either by biological, industrial, or atmospheric. Atmospheric turns it right into nitrates, but industrial and biological get turned into ammonia, and then that has to undergo nitrification and able to be turned into useful nitrates, which can be used by autotrophs and plants. Nice job, Andrew. But I bet you didn't know that there's one other way ammonia is made that doesn't even involve nitrogen fixation. Oh yeah? Really? What the heck is it? Decay. And when you understand this, you will start to see the formation of the cycle. Okay, so basically, when the plants take in the nitrogen, they are able to function and live, and eventually die. The same can be said for animals which eat the plants. When the animals and plants die, they decay and release their nitrogenous wastes. These wastes then undergo another process called ammonification, where guess who, our friends, the bacteria and fungi, make ammonia from the wastes. Then more bacteria take the ammonia and perform, again, nitrogenification, which we have already talked about. Dude, I love bacteria. Dude, what the hell are you doing? Oh, dude! Are you kidding me? You see these dead plants right here? Yeah. Do you know what they're doing? What? They're decaying. That means their nitrogenous wastes are going into the soil, which will then undergo the process called ammonification to turn into ammonia, which will then undergo nitrification to turn into nitrates, which can be used by our plants. So decay is just another way that nitrates are made? Thank you. Yeah, dude, you got it. So what happens next? Dude, I, uh... I don't really know. Alright, so anyway, we've come to the point where we understand how nitrogen is taken from the atmosphere and dispersed into various ecosystems, but what you don't know yet is how nitrogen gets back into the atmosphere. Now it's my turn to be the teacher. Yo, that's gonna be really freaking complicated. Not really, man. Yeah, sure. How could it not be complicated? Dude, chill, just relax. I'll explain it to you. Alright, then just explain it. Okay, I will. Just chill. Dude, come on. Dude, it's called dentrification. In this process, other special bacteria convert nitrates in the soil back into nitrogen gas and nitrous oxide gas, which is then released back into the atmosphere, ready for another cycle. I told you it was simple. So together, we were able to understand the nitrogen cycle. Yeah, man. 